Hi, this is Taylor Karen at Hops and Berries in Fort Collins, Colorado with Craft Beer and Brewing's Tip of the Week. So one of the biggest pieces that marks a great brewer from an okay brewer is managing the temperature of the fermentation. Many ales can be made by chucking them in the corner of your living room and letting it ride. You're not gonna do your best job without being a little tighter on temperature control. So how can we control our temperatures? Of course, the easy way, if not the cheapest way, is to get a refrigerator and a temperature controller that overrides the thermostat and just dials in the temperature you want to ferment at. It really is the way the pros brew, which is how you make beer that tastes like a pro brewed it. Not everyone has the space to do that or budget, but know that the closer you can get to that ideal, the better your beer is going to be, always. If you simply can't control the temperature directly, you can actually get pretty close to this with simply a giant Rubbermaid tub that you put your fermenter in and trade out frozen packets of ice, maybe three times a day. I've even done loggers of sorts that ran 54 degrees or so in the middle of summer just by trading that ice out fast enough. Most of the important part of temperature control happens in the first five days, so if you can fuss over that, then you can probably let the temperature rise a little and be a little looser afterwards and still get a lot of the effects of a temperature controlled fermentation. Now if you want to learn even more about high gravity brewing, click the link below.